So I had to put on my pants. Did I miss something? D and D begins now. Okay. So. Oh yeah, I need. To Hello? Uh, oh. From the coast. I be heard. Hold on, I can't hear you guys now. Let me see. Uh, Discord. Fine. I I was I was really wanting to do this seriously because like I actually want to do be able to do OBS to help with more with Phenom stuff if possible. And it's like I'm taking it super serious and it's like mm, mm. it's fine. I, I I just need to relax. Yes, you do. But I checked the recording's fine. On both my end and on yours, I'm assuming. Do you want me to hit the record button? If you want to. I don't know. I'm already recording. But I was talking about the previous session. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I meant. <sighs> Chillax, brother. I've had no caffeine today, yet I'm wired like I am. Eh. Uh. The this is unnerving. Breakdown will do that. Getting too old for this shit. <laughs> uh, join the club. Uh, so There's yeah. You, uh, you and I are the club right now. <laughs> exactly. We're we're the only two card carrying members. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yesterday's session was, or last week's session was, a lot of talking, a lot of role play stuff, and uh. A lot of very small, uh, uh, white feathered, um, beaked creatures that are being continuously spawned by a certain someone. <laughs> yeah. LV has adopted one. Yes, LV has adopted one, and I have a name for it. Is it Goose? No, it is not. It's a reference to a goose, but... Is it geese? Nope. Hmm. No fighting game character then. No, no, it's not gonna fall from a building. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know that reference. Thank you. Yep, yep. It's not gonna fall out of a window. I, I checked. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, yeah. But other than that, it was it was just uh uh messing around with the geese summoning and uh, a lot of talking. Still not entirely sure if Thorgrim's going to be utterly uh, traumatized by this or not. Oh, Adol's back. Mm. Yeah, Indeed. I, I said I brought her, her and Beastie back from the ethos. So, what have they been from doing the, ether? the time, I guess? No. Well, ether, I guess, rather, how much time has passed? It's been a few hours. Yeah, it hasn't been very long. We've just been talking. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Well, uh, Ale's going to walk back into the bar. We'll see all the tiny geese. 
and we'll fold our arms behind our back and be like, so what did I miss? A lot. I, I have figured out how to differentiate the goose. Mm. No, these goose. It now has a health bar. <laughs> Excellent. You're, you're not, not, <laughs> thank you. You have now made, uh, made me acutely aware that this thing is, uh, mortal. <laughs> I mean, it's a goose, so. I, I know, but seeing health bars is like an extra, like, oh god. <laughs> uh, is gonna walk our day and proudly present her goose, like, holding it right in front of Adel's face. I have, I have a new friend. Adel will look to the goose. Um, nice to meet you. He says hello. It'll not. I see. We we are now matching. I have a I have a small fr uh small animal friend like you do. It seems many of us do. She said, looking to the other geese around the place. Yes. Um. Uh. The one, next, the one next to Thorgrim is notably drinking a, mu uh, a mug of ale. Uh, yeah, uh, George, uh, and, uh, yeah, George has found an item that will conjure a, an arrangement of geese of various numbers, um, to apparently help us with tasks. I see. Little worker geese, as it were. Well, I'm sure that they will prove to be... useful. I should hope so. Uh, assuming that we figure out exactly what tasks geese can and cannot do. Assuming they're based off of THE goose, I'm not sure there are many tasks that they can't do. Mm, well, they haven't. They haven't exactly mm. showcased any of the special abilities our annoying goose friend can do, but they are adorable. Yes, indeed. Mm. Well, I'll um leave you to it. Indeed. Anything on, else? Gladstone. Sorry, what? No, I... What'd she name oh. it? Gladstone. Gladstone. All right. Gladstone Gander. And she sits down in the chair, <clears throat> cradling her goose like a whale baby. All right. I was going to walk along. While looking to Jubilee and Hubert. Hello, my lady. Hello, Hubert. Hello, Jubilee. Hello, Adel. So what's up? Did you rest well? Yes, I think I have. But what else have I missed? Well, you did. We can talk about that later. What else have I missed? Not really much of anything, apart from Georgia. Asking your alternate out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Julie just kind of snickers to herself. Come again. Your alternate self has apparently attracted George in some way. He seems to be interested in her strength and ability to handle herself in combat, I guess. Ale is going to look over at Eddie. Eddie, at this point, is calmly uh, looking through her inventory. She looked back to the others. Out of curiosity, um, where is George right now? With his mother. I see. Trying, to, I... work, trying to work out his feelings. Yes, I'm going to have to have a conversation with him. Anyway, um... I don't, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell him anything his mother's not going to already tell him. Just saying. I think I'm in a uniquely stated 
a position where I might have some things to say that his mother would be unaware of. But that aside, I need to contact my sister before we go after my mother. Unless something else... Uh, okay. So out of character here, I've been trying for the life of me to find her name in my notes, and I don't think I wrote it down. It's the one that, uh, Jubilee got captured by. Uh -huh. Let's see. I did write it down. Is that your final answer? I mean, I could just go to the session itself and watch it back up until she says her Ale says her name. She could we'll be right back after these messages. All right, I guess I will. Thankfully, it's. Uh, I honestly don't remember the name either. <laughs> yeah, thankfully it's the session where, uh, what's his name, Sigma. Overdrive? No, Hunter Delta was around. So, just gotta find the one that's called the one with Hunter something or another. Yeah, the one with Hunter Delta. Session 93. This was a year ago, no wonder I don't friggin' remember. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Fuck, we've been doing this a while. We've been doing this for two years. Jeez. We're doing this, this session for this group for two years. Weird. Session 92. The one with the answers. The answers to what? Good question. We don't know. Well, we should, considering we were there. Ah, Morgana. Then who the fuck is Mar Margaret? Oh, Margaret is Marcus's sister. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ale's anti magic sister Morgana. All right. Ale is going to send a sending to Morgana. Well, actually, she's gonna scry her first. Alright. So, uh, you, as you attempt to scry her, you remember she is unaffected by magic of certain caliber. Your spell fails. Ah, right. I literally just said she's anti-magic. I don't know why my brain just didn't click. Anyway, uh, I guess she'll try and send her ascending instead. Two? No. It also fails. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, you gotta go higher levels, not lower. Yeah, but I don't think you can upcast sending, can you? You can upcast anything. You can? It won't do anything different. Yeah, okay. You can. But you can cast it with a higher level spell slot. Well, scrying is level five, so... You. She'll do level six. Let me put it this way. Yeah? So, so you understand, you can upcast any- If you can't use a 7th level spell slot for any spell that's not 7th level, you've upcasted technically, just for the record. 
Okay. Uh, she'll use a sick. Doesn't mean it'll do anything different, but. She'll use a sick level spell slot to send ascending to Organa. Mm -hmm. And what do you say? Sister, we need to talk. I'm in the city of Haven. Can you get here soon? The, you get silence for a while before a simple reply of, I don't know where that is. She's not, she's not from this country. She doesn't know the layout. She's been here for months. How does she not know the... Okay. Uh, okay. Where are you right now? You just hear silence, and you can almost register her staring blankly at you, despite the fact she's nowhere near you, and I'm, replies, I don't know. I'm talking landmarks, sister. Or is the place around you a featureless plain? It's a forest, which is just as bad. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, sister. You were the studious one of your family, weren't you? <laughs> okay, sister. I am going to try and scry you. Try not to resist it. I don't resist spells at all. Right. Then she will cast a scry at seventh level. All right. You scry her, and you find she is in the middle of a forest. Is she alone? Uh, seemingly. What happened to your army? They're somewhere. What do you mean they're somewhere? Did you get separated from them or something? Irrelevant. What do you want? I think it is very relevant, sister. You're in the middle of the woods alone. And? And? What is... Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Right, never mind. It's like talking to a brick wall. I am going to. I am about to go to war against Mother. Uh, but I wanted to know if you wanted to help. I suppose. You, uh. And what sort of army are you bringing to the table? Um. An army of drows. She looks around. An army of geese. Alternate version of myself and my friends. Possibly some blood elementals. Someone that has powers similar to a god. Someone else that has powers similar to a god. Uh, and ether. And possibly my dad, if we're lucky. Uh, it doesn't sound like we have nearly enough forces to actually go against him then. Really? What about you? Assuming, of course, that you can find your army again. I will be able to find them, but you have to remember that mine is but a fraction of Mother's. So, what do you recommend? I do not recommend. I will go... I will go... What you have asked of me, but I do not guarantee we will win. You just made a recommendation that we would... <sighs> Never mind. Try and find... You've been here for months. How do you not know where you are? Why would I learn a place that Mother is about to enslave? <sighs> I keep telling you the le culture of these places are important. If not for... If not because they will not exist in the future, at least for historical purposes. You and I have very different viewpoints when it comes to culture. Clearly. Well, I guess your first major order would be to find out where the hell you are, and then try and find out if you can get back to... Actually, hold on, I might have something that can help. Then she'll... Like... Put the sending on hold and <laughs> and let's see. <laughs> I'm putting it on hold for a moment. Hang on. <laughs> hmm. You make a lot of faces when when you scrot you send. You know that. Well, hold on. I'm thinking. 
She usually gets into arguments with people. Mm-hmm. What's the right. situation? I'm trying to get in contact with my sister and to get her here, but she doesn't know where she is. So... She is going to send out a sending to Obitus. Alright, your sending with uh, your sister now comes to an end. Alright. Let's see. I believe sending has a 10% chance to fail if you're trying to send it through planes of existence. Correct. Five. Ah, uh, I'll roll a d so One through five on a d20. Oh, actually, a nat one on a d20 then. You're good. You're good. Okay. What do you say? Hi, Dad. I need you to get my s come back to Crestfall and help me find my sister. There's silence for a while before eventually the one immune to magic. Yeah. No. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why would I? I need her help to fight she mom. Scares me. <laughs> she can find her way. She's a big girl. What? I would like her to be here quickly, though, so that we can plan. Also, I'm a bit worried about her. She's alone in a forest. No. Please, Dad. Uh, fine. Thank you. Then she'll uh, cut the connection. Use some spell sorcerer slots to get back a uh, sixth level spell slot, and then we'll sp uh, use a sixth, that sixth level to send to Organ again, while saying, My dad is going to appear and will help you and your army get to Haven. Oh, by the way, um, I found out who he is. Turns out it's not who I... we... thought he was. Who did you think it was? Hold on. What is his name again? Man. Creepy one. Can't remember what his name is. Starts with an A. Not Alton. Wait, yes, Alton. Alton? Alton, uh, you talking about the one who likes pain too much? Yeah, Alton Avangard. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's Alton, yeah. I never assumed he was your father. Well, he was the closest thing to- anyway. Uh, see you soon. Uh-huh. At least pretend to be excited to meet, meet with me. Hill <laughs> size. I think she cut the call. <laughs> Woohoo, click. <laughs> you know, knowing your sister like I do, I think I, I could have uh, given you an idea of how to figure out where she was. Really? Do tell. You should you should have asked what the last thing she defeated was nearby. Mm, I don't want to think about her killing things. Unfortunately, that's kind of her way of remembering things, if, I, if I'm assessing her correctly. Hmm. She sounds more and more like my alternate self. Eddie? Yes? Your sister Organa, what was she like? I think she died. Clearly. I was referring to before that. I don't know. I never met her. That's sad. Is no. it? Yes? Can you be sad about something that never happened? It did happen? Well, she's never met her, so she never got to know her. Yes, and that is sad. But 
either way. <sighs> we need to get further reports on what my mother's army actually comprises of right now. Organa has a better idea than I do, and she clearly thinks that the Drought Templars won't be enough. As well as her own forces. Hubert, any ideas? You make a lot of assumptions, assuming Morgana has forces. She looks to Jubilee. She has... people. How many? He would... He would have a... Jubilee just kind of does a side eye look. <laughs> he would, she would have a small... She would have a small army, but nothing, party. but nothing compared to what Lady Himastraza will have. Okay. Otto will, will raise his hand. Yes, Otto. Um, wouldn't it make sense to also end up asking um, Zardak and, and um, what's her name, Azazel, to see if they'd like to help as well? I already asked Azazel. That's what led us to trying to find, trying to gain the favor of the Lady of the Flame. But as for Zardak, hold on. I think I, I think Adel did ask him already. Might be good to check in with him. Yeah, I'll ask Zardak. But Azazel seemed to say no when we just discussed it before. We have been asking a lot of her recently. for giving her so many heart, near heart attacks with her son. Yes, I think, if anything, it would be up to George to ask her on that one. I don't think... Yeah, I've already asked her. But, let's see. I'll contact Zardak. <laughs> and then she will do just that. Send, send a sending to Zardak. What? Hello, Zardak. Are you willing to help me fight a war against my mother? Why? Because the Drow and Crestfallen are currently aiming to take over the entire place, and they've already been sending at parties to attack random settlements in the area, and they might start attacking yours if something's not done about it. That probably wouldn't be a very good decision for them. So, wouldn't you rather take them out before they become a problem for you? You will have help, not just from us, but from the Drow Templars. You make, you make it seem like they can be a problem for me, but what does it, what does Beastie think? Elle's going to look over to Beastie. Beastie is, is still somewhat, like, a lit. A little excited at the prospect of fighting, uh, or sorry, of meeting Rashi again, but seems to be just in our own world. Ale's gonna walk over, like, uh, Beastie, do you think that it would be a good idea for Zardak to help us fight my mother? Beastie will look up, well, like, blink for a while, look over. Her brain processing, and she's like, Yeah, he wants to have fun. <laughs> Adel sighs. She says, and I quote, Yes, you'd want to have fun. <sighs> Fine. Thank you, Zardak. <laughs> Oh, he all kept the call and head back to the others. It seems like he will help us after all. the others and says, well, it looks like he will help us after all. Excellent. That's more help good to hear. 
<sighs> for the time being, all we gotta do is wait for help to arrive. <coughs> I guess we will be remaining here for the time being. Which means we gotta wait longer, or, or at least got more time to wait for any response from the librarian. Yes. Then she frowns. <sighs> I still wish that we knew why Zardak was in this area. All the deductions I can make may lead to less than pleasant results. Why he was here to begin with? Why he was in this area, yes. <clears throat> Wait, are you talking about Zardak or the... Rashi. There you go. <laughs> Rashi. I mean, again, according to him, he just had engaged the, the cult forces, but I don't know. <sighs> I wish he would just answer my qu- And she pauses, and then rubs her face. Uh, I have a horrible idea. Lady, a suggestion? Yes. Perhaps we do take a page out of the enemy's book and keep some of our cards close to ourselves for now. We get we'll go on we should go under the assumption that he doesn't know about the librarian for now. Or he checked to make sure if we weren't being watched and we weren't. Provoking and wanting to ask questions might entail revealing some cards, as it were. Well, I think it would in a cup, but there might be a way to make him answer questions without having to reveal what's what what what's worth thinking about. What other reason would we have to contact him? I already contacted him, she said while gesturing over to Beastie. They're going to be in co they're going to be contact with each other somehow. But yeah, yes, but what would be your reason to do it this time? Oh See no, what I mean? don't get me wrong. That's why I did not think it would be a good idea. Because my idea is to convince her, and she points to Beastie, to ask him. And you... And as much as I like... Like her, don't want to say love, that might be a little strong for me. Do you think that's the most subtle and tactful idea? Not at all. I do think you're, and you're right. I'm sure she wouldn't accidentally let something so. <laughs> well, that depends on how we ask her. But for the time being, you're right. It might just be that it's n not necessary to know. But considering the. Yeah, what we know important. might be occurring in the future, that's just why I'm on edge about the subject. Of course. And I completely understand. The thing is, I kind of believe that he was just happened to be in the area and the cult kind of ran, ran into him. My, my concern is, is why the cult was in the area. They're a lot more strategic and less upfront than Rashid is. Well, not exactly. Depends on which sect of the cult they're in. The puppeteer doesn't have a sect anymore. The rifter is on our side leaving the sticks to be left. And that from what we know, he's less strategic, more chaotic. Yes, but these people were of the puppeteer's defectors, <laughs> as it were. The puppeteer they doesn't have... Strategic. The puppeteer doesn't ha ha Oh, no, the puppeteer doesn't have anyone left. Like I said, they're defectors. 
There were there were people there. He might have had some defectors, as it were. But he didn't. Seems like he has his own people still. Yeah, I'll shake this All right. Okay, for a quick recap, when when he was at when he was at the fight that we saw, he actually had people with him. Wait, really? So yes. he had a very large amount of people. What the yeah, fuck? Like I thought he might have defect defectors. Yeah, the Rifter said that he. Him. Rifter said that he killed everyone that was under him. So he maybe probably just got more. What the fuck? How the fuck? Or he just killed, or he killed the ones that were loyal to the cult, not loyal to him. All right. Well, never mind. <laughs> that, hence, the ter hence the term I'm using, defector defectors. Then they it really real cult members. They were the people that he recruited. Then it really could be the puppeteer that's doing his thing, and he already knows what's in the city. So, ugh. That's why I think it was more more chance that Rashid came along. And the cult was the one actually doing a cloak and dagger as it would. Fair enough, then. Or rather, I, I, again, I say the, the cult, but uh, uh, puppeteer's forces now at this point. As they, again, his his group seemed to be defected. Yes. And it kind of concerns me if he had high-level people in the cult defect to him. That that might be a cause for concern. I'm Especially, they seem to be very well versed in necromancy. I'm curious how on earth he convinced them to join his side, considering what he ultimately wants. Well, unfortunately, we don't know what their motivation is. Oh. They're willing, but they seem to be willing to die for this cause. Hopefully we'll have an opportunity to ask one. Could, could be a situation where there are people at the end of their rope too and want to make some use of their life, as it were. Hubert. Wait, no, you weren't there. Um, Jubilee, did you kill kill every single one of the cultists? I killed any of them. I it was, most, it was mostly Rashid's forces that kind of bore through things, because Rashid really went on a tear. I know there are no survivors, if that's what you're asking, though. <sighs> How disappointing. Unfortunately, again, like I said, Rashid was on a tear. He kind of bore through everything. The man went into a went to a zombie dinosaur and came out the came out the stomach. Like I don't think there was any stopping that rampage. And that beast yes. makes a loud ah! Why am he always the... gone when he do something cool like that? I was about to have Hubert mention something that he was not there to see, so I can't make him say that. Ah. Uh. But yeah, Beastie is now the big disappointment. Oh yeah, he also he also literally crushed an orb of annihilation. Like, I didn't get my that. Yeah, it all just stares for a bit, then just they her eyes slide like glance off as she seems to be pondering something, then shakes head. No, if I ask him for help, Scalodius would never forgive yeah, me. I... Well, funny you mention that. George kind of already did. Oh right. Because if he agree, if he agreed to do so, Scalodius would have the opportunity to fight him to the death. I think. I remember you hearing about That's that conversation. Once this is over. So. <laughs> Jubilee kind of looks over to Scalise's table. You can get, kind of see him tapping his finger on the table while listening to the conversation. Not looking at anybody, just kind of <laughs> looking forward, tapping his finger hey, on the table. Just. Well, shake her head. Well, I do not agree with that, but that is his decision to make. Yes, and. 
he did a, he, it wasn't in as a representative of you, but as a representative of Haven, so... Eh, like... I suggest, I would suggest to keep good rapport with Haven, and that we honor, we help honor that. Well, I was going to ask Rashi for help against my mother, but no. I think that would be too much for him. Yeah. He wouldn't agree to it, and that he'd more likely kill deal. her. But this, it's probably for the best, then, in that regard. Agreed. And again, I, I'd like to point this out, Lady Adel Sarday, that I won't try to, but if it if it comes to a point between you or her, I choose you. I choose you to live. I'm just saying that. You have said so before, and I'm saying that there is always a way. Here we go again. If there is another way, I will. I will honor it. If I can't see another way, I will protect you. There is always another way. Lady, <laughs> with all due respect, sometimes bad things need to just be ended. Ale raises an eyebrow. In order for a good thing to prosper. So Let a disease grow, it will continue to grow no matter how you treat the symptoms. <laughs> I know. Sometimes you need to kill the virus. <laughs> yes, which is why no, it, you would have killed me if you met me many years ago. Tried to, at least. Tried to. I mean, if I met you years ago, I probably wouldn't have been as reasonable as I am now. Ah, so then someone would have had to kill you then. Uh, I mean... Hold on. Matt, you okay? Yeah. Try, you... Trying trying to Hello. let you guys have your moment without stepping in. <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay. Well, I heard groaning. I, th I thought you... Yeah, I thought you were unwell or something like you, okay, dude? <laughs> uh, 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 Elby's gonna stand up. Gonna look to Adel and just say, Do you have any idea what you're saying to yourself? What you're saying to her? Enlighten me. You really should understand. You can't save everybody you can't heal everybody you can't protect everybody i know you try and i commend you for trying but it's impossible hmm. you know i have been told that over and over and over and over and over again Yes, and... She, sh she shakes her head. Uh, if you had to see an example, that's just proven me wrong. What about all the times you tried to remain passive and unable to... Or, and unwilling to harm someone only for things to descend into combat anyway? There is a difference between not killing someone and not hurting someone. I am more than willing to fight. I just... I don't underst... Like, I understand that you're trying not to be like your past self. I get that. I Believe me, I do. I truly do. However... Sometimes threats need to be dealt with, and sometimes those threats cannot be dealt with non-lethally. And we are back at the beginning of this cycle, and once again, Absolutely. I will say, that I have been told that again and again, and I have not seen an example where that has been proven true. 
Where have oh. you seen where have you seen an example where it was proven false? Almost every single threat, well, sentient threat that we have faced thus far. Name one. Rashi. Okay. Have we dealt with it yet? No. Okay. And how do you know that we're not going to have to kill him? Because we won't have to. There are many non-lethal ways to defeat him. And how do you know that they will work? I don't. How do you know if someone is willing to let you? <laughs> then looks to looks to Skaloyus, who seems to be clutching his mug a lot harder right now. <laughs> and he shrugs again. I don't. Thorgrim throws a paper or a plane at Scalodius. <laughs> Does not pay attention to it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm imagining just like just like just staring at his mug and they just thunk, and he just keeps staring. <laughs> but here is my counterpoint to you. Pretty much. That that is the reason why I will never take a life. You're looking at the threat and saying that's the only way to save people. Well, Rather, the best way to save people, the best way to stop this threat from hurting others is to destroy it, therefore saving all the lives that you, it would have destroyed in the future, correct? That's the long and the short of it, yes. Then that means you have killed every single person that person could save if they decide to change their ways. But we have also saved all the people that they would have killed if they didn't. Do you know that? Are you willing to Do take you? that risk? Are you? Yes. So are we. Then this point, once again, we are back at the beginning of this cycle. Indeed we are, I'm just... I... I feel as if... Ladies, I've got a headache. <laughs> Indeed. I will just settle it like this. I do not force others not to kill because I recognize that not everyone is willing nor willing to agree with my standpoint, be it on ethical reasons or logical reasons. But I'm not going to change my ways either. I almost did once, and that is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. I'm never going to do it again, no matter what. Otto will raise his hand. Yes, Otto? Um, I don't mean to... Interrupt again, but I think we're once again retracting back to what George mentioned was a problem before was that we keep trying to look into too many things at once Rather than focusing on one concrete objective and getting that accomplished first before worrying about the other thing I thought we were focused on one objective No, well, right now right now you're attempting to focus on whether or not she needs to be killed or subdued rather than beaten She needs to be de defeated first before we can even think about killing or subduing her we also, got into, oh, go ahead. we also got into a conversation about Rashi, even though we've already agreed that he's going to help us with a different problem. Yeah, I don't know how we ended up there. That's true. We do tend to go off on random Because you, you thought to recruit him, and you did, you thought to recruit him, and I had to correct you that we already have an accord mm. with him. Yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea. That was kind of a side side road that we took on that conversation. Well, very well. I have a I have a suggestion. Yes. LV is going to go to the table and go to a table, sit down, and is going to start writing. And she's going to start writing a list. And is going to look to uh, Adel Sarde and say, "What is our first objective?" We need to defeat my mother. Okay. Defeat Adel Sarde's mother. One. And then at the top, things to do. There. As we as we think of more things to do, I'll put them on the list. Hmm. Well, if you want to write down. You know, it'll. If... <laughs> yes, Jubilee. You know, it'll if. If LV wasn't employed by Zardak, she'd make a great secretary for you. <laughs> I take great offense to that, unfortunately. 
I hate desk work. All right, Gloomhalo. So we're writing down everything now. I am merely suggesting a list of things to do in order so that we can keep our uh, geese in a row, as it were, and take things one step at a time instead of worrying about too many things in too many different directions, as Otto has suggested. Very well. In which case, so on the thing of defeating my mother, here's what we need to do. Contact my sister, which we have done. Contact Zardak, which we have done. Get my sister we, here. You need to also turn around, Adel. Hmm? She looks behind her. Turn around. As, as you do, you just see Obi holding Morgana, who is unconscious before he just drops her on the floor. Dad? Yeah. Why is she knocked out? Uh, we got into a fight. Why? She didn't know who I was. Well, I told her that- You sent your dad after your sister? Hell size. <laughs> you thought there was gonna be the girl? I told her that my father was coming to him. To her. You didn't- Did you tell her who, you, who the father was? I figured she would assume that a powerful man appeared that that would be my- Alright. Thank you, Dad. So... If you, if you didn't think who you- if you didn't know who your father, your father was until recently, what makes you think she would? I don't know. Typically, she's very wise and all that. I thought she would have a good idea. Otto raises his hand and says, To be fair, if I saw someone who looked like him show up to me, I wouldn't think he would be looking fatherly. And all look oh, over to Ovidus. Ovidus. Ovi just looks at, at you, Otto, and goes, Wow, rude. I'm the best dad in the world. He well, is. I well, no, I, I, well no, I didn't mean you weren't a good dad. I meant just your outwardly appearance. If people don't know, you might suggest otherwise. I'm just a pale human. Yeah, he looks just like a dad to me. Ju Jubilee, as she's about to, to heal, as she's healing the sister, you really need a better priority. You really need better person. <laughs> flashback to what? Father, right? <laughs> flashback to what she considered Hubert lawful good. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what? I just realized a lot of things about you, Adel. What? God, why? Why do I have a thing for dark elves? <laughs> Heal, heal, just heals Morgana for five HP. What's wrong with the way I up and probably Obi. grab one of us? Obi says to you. I'll be able to, like, well, for one, you're carrying a, a scythe. Yeah, it's a very good weapon. You also have a bone, a, a shield that looks like it's made from skulls and bones. Yeah, that's semantics. If I were to be walking down the street and I saw you walking down the, the street with me, I probably would want to avoid that street after that. Not because I don't think you're a bad person or anything, but just because you do give off a threatening aura. You may have some points, but I think I look fine. It's, it's, your, it's your opinion. That's fine. You look like you're still in my teenage phase. Excuse me? <laughs> Do not refer to my father that way. Sorry, father-in-law. Hey, who? Let's go and uh, crouch down in front of Organa. I'm stunned like the eagle. <laughs> <laughs> She is ignoring that. Morgana is still unconscious. But Jubilee healed her. After I gave her HP? Yes. Yes. Hale's going to look to... Obi, what did Obi. you do to her? I put her to sleep. Can you wake her uh, up, please? Can you wake her up, please? I mean, yeah, of course I can. Otto will then say, have Would you tried you just pouring water on her face? No, she'll hate that. Hold on. Have you tried tapping her on the shoulder? Ale is going to, like, lightly tap her cheek. 
Morgana, wake up. That does not work. Alright. <clears throat> it's time for your studies! That, that usually works. That would have woken me up immediately. Hmm. Let's see. I know I'm studious, but damn, that's nerdy. <laughs> Alton said that if you don't wake up, he's gonna make you clean his room again. No? You could try shaking her. Oh, be Hmm. Alright. She'll hold her shoulders and lightly yeah, like, shake her. <laughs> Jubilee describes her by her the shoulders and shakes her. Oh boy. After giving, <laughs> after giving her a good shake, Morgana's eyes will open. <laughs> Summon Bigby's hand, shake her with Bigby's hand. <laughs> good, good morning, sister. What happened? You met Dad. Huh? She points over to Obitus. That's my father. Yes, that's uh, dad. The most powerful spellcasters in the in the multiverse. Where am I? You're in Haven. In in, in Haven, yes. So, sister, how many people do you have in your small army? A couple hundred. Alright, now can you tell me about Mother's Army, please? I'm assuming you were a part of it before you separated. Not the army that she has with her currently. How many people are in it? Which powerful, which powerful members of the army did she bring along with her here, and which did she keep garrisoned at the, at the helm of the Empire? Considering the fact she wishes to take over this land, I think it's safe to assume she has all of the strength she needs. I need a number. I don't have a number. Okay. Hmm. And do you know where she is right now? No. Hmm. Well, we'll have to rely on that previous information we have, then. Okay. Dad? Yeah? Is Nilo still in, uh, Arya? I guess. Alright. What about Charlie? Yes. Actually... Don't him again? <laughs> No, Charlie wouldn't like it because most of the army uses magic, don't they? Hmm. Okay, not Charlie then. Dad, are you willing to help me fight Mom? I guess. Thanks. Alright. So, with that, we basically should have enough to fight her. Just need to wait. Just need to speak with the wait. Lady of the Flame. Let her know where she is, where my mother is and her army is. Hmm. Morgana, how many scouts do you have in your army? Enough. Are they loyal to Are you sure that they would be loyal to you once we start fighting mother? I mean, they haven't left me yet, so I would assume so. But you haven't been actively against mother, have you? You're just... Not anywhere close to being on the throne. I am unaware of my standpoint. As far as I'm aware, you and her are neutral. I guess. She says shrugging to this. So, when we start being enemies, do you think they would stay on your side? I would assume so, as once again they're following me. Alright. Uh, Dad. They, yeah, no offense, I've seen her, her, her men, they're pretty loyal to her. Good. Why would that be offensive? 
Dad. No reason. You keep saying dad, then you keep getting distracted. Focus on one or the other. No. Dad, uh, how far away from here was she? Was who? She points to Morgana. Points at the sister. Uh, Obi just looks at you and just makes a hand motion like, What the fuck am I supposed to know? Harold shrugs. I don't know. You typically know things that I wouldn't you expect you to know. I mean, that's nice, but the man the man's not omnipotent as far as I'm aware. Not anymore. I do what? What? They all just shrugs. It's like the information that you are aware of is completely random. Like, if I asked you who created the fireball, you probably know their by first name. But then if I asked you something like, what is the price of a fish in a market, you might not know that either. Depends on the fish, depends on the market, how fresh the fish is, where the market, what, uh, where the city's located. For example, it'll be fairly cheap on a coastal town, but in the middle of a continent, it won't be cheap at all. Remind me how far away my sister was from this location. And there you go. Well, do you think that your small army would be tracking you down now, sister? I would assume so, especially if they knew that I had just been kidnapped by this thing, she says, motioning towards Obi. That thing is my dad. His name is Obitus. I will not call it. I will not call him that. What, my dad or Obitus? Both. Why? I don't care. Obitus is his name, though. I don't care. I'm going to call it a thing. Do I have to fight you to make you give my dad some respect? You can try, but I won't stop calling him a thing. Hell, now it's her eyes. <sighs> I guess there is another thing that I need to speak with you about. Oh, Holy! Sorry. What is it with you and your one more things? There are many things that are constantly on my mind. For example, I need to know what you plan on doing with the Empire once I hand it over to you. Well, first off, I'll have to make sure that no coups occur once I take control. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Alright. Play it by ear. Best way to do it. I would like you, if possible, to try and at least stop being as conquerous and as my mother is, as our mother is. Why? Why would you conquer land? The Empire is big enough as is. Because there's always more to take, more to control. Why would you want to control more? Why wouldn't I? It's more work. When I was going to become the Empress, my plan was to dissolve the Empire and turn it into a Republic. He just stares at you give everyone in it the option if they wanted to remain, give them benefits for doing so, and let those that wanted to leave their freedom. And I wanted to look at the... I looked at our manifest destiny, that drought would take over everything, and I wanted it to mean something positive, that we wouldn't mean the end of everything, the destruction of cultures, of people, that we would be a force for good. And I gave that up. And... I just... don't want that sacrifice to be meaningless. I've lost a lot. And I... She just shakes her head. 
I want to know that some of it had a point, you know? She just watches you for a while, not saying anything. <laughs> Yeah, I'll looks back to her, also not saying anything. I don't know yet. Alright. Well... As long as we're preparing, you should stay in the city. You can stay here. We'll I'll buy a room for you. Oh, right. Uh, one more thing. And she's going to point over in this direction. That is my ultimate self from another dimension. You should speak with her. I think you two would get along very well. Yeah, she has a very similar mindset to you. I doubt that. Then go speak with her and find out. We'll see. I'll not. And goes to sit down. Thanks, Dad. Oh, you're welcome. Does, uh, does he do this often? He says, pointing to Otto, who is now blue screened because Jay had to burp. Not burp. Yes. Hmm. Glad to know it wasn't just my friend group that did this, apparently. I've seen you do it a couple of times. Nah, eh, that's different. Ow. I have things to think about a lot. Yeah, I'll just squint at Squints over to us before rolling her eyes. Very well. Well, you don't think I think? I... I think that you think that I know you think. I think. Jesus. Oh, so that's how long it takes for you to get awkward, Ovi says, having been just staring blankly at you the entire time. Bro, that's not fair. I thought that Discord died or something. That can't count. <laughs> if I knew, Rado just would have stared good. back. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't. <laughs> that's not fair. If we were face to face again, that conversation would have gone very differently. doesn't know what to do now. I'm out of ideas. Uh, well, uh, we're, we, when you wish, uh, spoke to your sister and you, what was the other objective you required to complete before we Set off to speak to your mother? Ah, right. Nothing. We just have to wait. Ah, well, in that case, I suppose we just relax until we get what we need. Are I, you I sure you, know that I'm, you don't want to write I'm down like, lists of what else we have to do? Uh, what else do we need to do other than defeat my mother? at the moment. Well, I wasn't referring to the moment, I was referring to the future. Well, why don't we deal with that when we get to it? 
Uh, so you don't want to write that down. Understood. I'm currently... I'm merely writing down things that are pressing matters. Things that we need to be done... that need to be done immediately, or at least in the immediate future. Closing wall traps are very... I forgot what I was saying. Pressing. There we go. Pressing matters. Ha. Uh, how amusing. BC is going to lean over the table and look at the list. Hmm. Lunch. It currently had that not. Uh, uh, LV is going to put her hand right in front of Beastie's face and go, no. She raises a pen. Lunch. Do not. She's going to, like, slowly push the pen forward. Draw it, slowly drawing the list back. No. Yes. Uh, uh, LV will put the paper away into her pack. Hmm. That list will be mine, Elf. I will write my lunch on it. Here. Uh, L LV will give Beastie another piece of paper. Ha ha! And she'll take the snatch it. You fool! And she'll rush off. <laughs> it appears Beastie is going to write what she wants for lunch today. <clears throat> I might do that as well. Also, Lady Adelsade, I don't know when you intend on trying to track down Lady Hemistro. Uh, he must Rosa, but remind uh, George has a date tomorrow. I... She pauses, then looks over at her alternate self, then looks back to Hubert. What? Yes, they're going to go on an, uh, an escapade tomorrow. Oh, George and I are going to have a long discussion. What about my lady? I... I do not know how to feel about this. Feel about what? She gestures over to her alternate self. What about her? She folds her arms. <sighs> like... Not that I would want him to have feelings for me, but is it really just that she's more muscular? I think it's the way that she acts, my lady. But we act very similarly. In a way. You're not as confident as Eddie. Elle opens her mouth at first to disagree. But then pauses, shuts it, and just gives a resigned sigh. I see. Hubert has unintentionally insulted her. Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. You will not take it back. I know. <laughs> oh, hey. Jay's back. That means George can be back now. Oh, boy. You literally pulled the you gotta treat a car like you treat a woman. Basically. You literally pulled that line. <laughs> no, because... Go on. No, Hubert did much worse because... <laughs> Because instead of realizing his mistake, he just went, Eddie's more confident than you. <laughs> I know. The one flaw of Hubert, he speaks, he usually speaks. He's not afraid to speak his mind. For better or for worse. He does not spare people's feelings. Yeah, not even Once else. Once day is distracting up, Stubley will go to Hubert and be like, you really, really need to work on your romancing. I wasn't trying to. Well, you weren't trying to be tactile either. No. Oh, hey, George's back. 
I was being honest. Hello, George. Hello. Hale is going to look over to George, and then, like, nod her head and look back to the table. It seems like the reason to have a discussion may have been shot and killed in a ditch. <laughs> is something mm. wrong here? Killed on sight? No. No, nothing. Cooper's gonna probably be sleeping on, on, a, on, a, on a floor for a little while. <laughs> nothing is the matter, George. I hope you have fun tomorrow. Is she lying? <laughs> or is she not telling the truth? I, I mean... <laughs> I mean... If, she, if she's lying, that's a deception check. I don't know if she's lying, but I guess I'll roll, because... Well, no, something is wrong, it's Make just it not George's fault. <laughs> Make a deception check. What George the don't fuck? know shit. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> George's ability to read women strikes again. Well, she says she's okay, so I'm just gonna think about tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm just gonna think about bacon. Wait, no, wrong character. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, normal man shit. Got it. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay. Ale's shoulders are slumped, and she's just staring stoically at the table. You were old. We'll gently rub her shoulder. I'm tired. Just remember, you are loved, Adel. I am sure that I will. <laughs> I am sure that I will remember that in due time. Who's that? Oh, this is Lady Adel's <coughs> sister. Oh no! <laughs> George would kind of look over and be like, Why is her sister here? He's going to help us find Lady Adel's mother. <laughs> and oh, internal I've... George. Oh no, she's hot! <laughs> Oh, by the way, George, that's on your agenda as well. We have to go wage a war. Keep this in mind tomorrow, dear, your danger. Uh, okay. And how... I don't, don't mean to be... that guy here, but how do you know you can trust her? Because she is my sister. I have a lot right. of insight in... I have a lot of inside in info. <laughs> Jubilee says then looking back and forth. <laughs> right. And I don't. We're... To be perfectly clear, I do not trust her. You <laughs> said very calmly. Oh, Adel doesn't. Uh, does not do suspect you. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I don't even have to roll for that one. <laughs> yep. Completely trust. I will, her. anyways, though. You completely trust. Oh, actually, your my deception's actually not that great. Uh -huh. I still got better, though. <laughs> it's a plus seven like yours, dude. So, you completely trust your sister in the war we're about to wage on your mother? Yes. Because my mother hated her due to her not having as much magical ability as I did. In fact, I was her favorite daughter. And being immune to magic. That too. Plus, Dale's already agreed to hand something very nice over to her. Yes. Cooperation. I, if I... If I do not defeat my mother, then my sister will never have accent. Will never become the Empress. And how do you know your mother hasn't already <clears throat> talked to your sister about that type of thing, if you're openly going against her? Because my mother does not value my sister as much as I do. true, unfortunately. So, do you really think that's a hindrance, or do you think that might be motivation for her instead? For my mother, or for my sister? 
for your sister because getting the approval of one's parent is a very strong thing for some people. You really overthink a lot, don't you? Morgana says, calmly re-entering the room. Yes, he does. <laughs> don't worry. I do not know the half of it, Morgana. Do not worry, Morgana. He's learning. Ale hasn't picked up the how casual Jubilee is with Morgana. Jubilee is casual with everyone, though. <laughs> Except for her mom. True. <laughs> Ale would be oh, more concerned if she was like, yes, Lady Morgana, princess of the Drow Empires. Then she'd be like, hey, what's going on here? What <laughs> did well, you do? <laughs> don't fault me for overthinking when your <clears throat> relative is openly trying to take Late. over my home. Well, you know, it's weird that you say relative instead of my mother, but whatever. Well, my mother is trying to take over your home, and to be fair, it's not like we've always been on the same page, so I could, I do not hold your doubt against you. That's why I was simply answering your questions. I think it is wise to suspect her. But, take my word for it. Morgana is on our side. Okay. Two nods. I'm guessing that is the next thing we're doing is doing is going after your mother. Yes. are, as of right now, go see Librarian, or wait for Librarian to contact us while George does his thing, and... It'll shoulder Yeah, I don't know what else we can do. It'll shoulder slump as she is reminded about that thing. <laughs> right. Well, uh, tomorrow I'll contact... Look, if, makes you, if you want to focus on something, focus on blaming me, then. Blaming you. I kind of helped George realize he had a crush. You what? You. It was. I didn't influence. I just helped him be aware of it. Nell just rubs her face. I see. And now, and turns to George, you owe me for this. <laughs> why are you, why, what, I don't. I'm getting that. you out of a lot of hot water right now. You what owe me water? for this. If we need to have a conversation, we can have a conversation. <laughs> turns back to, to Adel. And what's the punishment I'm gonna get this time? Hold on. Would you like to, would you like to talk to George, lady? I would, actually. I'm just very curious, she says. Julie's, once. like, trying to motion for George to run. Run, run, run. What it is that you see in her? Um... Well, for one, she's respectably strong. Calm. Thinks a lot less than or doesn't overthink like I do, while also being a leader at the same time. And... Okay. Honestly, that's it. But... Ail will look over to her and back to George. Not that I want you to have such feelings towards me, but... Why her and not me? Because you we are really very... The... Go ahead. We are near identical in that aspect. Do you really want the honest answer to that? Please do, tell, let me know. Behind Adel, you just see Jubilee just foot motion to the throat like, Don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> just mouthing, don't. 
Don't. Hubert <laughs> on her other side is watching on. He does not seem to care one way or the other what you do. To be completely honest, the reason why I don't have feelings for you all and probably won't ever do is because of who you're related to. You can think that it's petty or whatever, but that is the only reason why. Not that bad of a person. Obi says from his seat the t at the other table. <laughs> Not you, Obidus. Also, thank you. I managed to accomplish what I needed to do because of oh. you. Oh, cool. you're welcome. Ail stoicism like dips a little, and she looks somewhat offended and a bit s and surprised and shocked and saddened all at once. But her, her shoulders just slump slightly, and she nods. All right, fair enough, I understand. Well, it's better than the other thing that was suggested. Thanks, George. What was the, what was the other thing? I said I, I believed it was because she was more competent than Lady Hazel Sade. Wow, you, you two are horrible, you know that? <laughs> kind of holding Adel away from Hubert. Me. <laughs> Meanwhile, I mean, Hubert is watching George because George has not said one way or the other if he was right or wrong. <laughs> I mean, not, not really. I think overall, I think it's only just like after thinking about it and sleeping on it, I think I might just have a thing for physically stronger women. To simplify it all into one thing. we need to hide your sister away from George. <laughs> Do not just hear the reason why I said I'm not attracted to Adel. Yeah, let's just go, go and sit down. Yeah, I... I, <laughs> I have fun tomorrow, George. <laughs> Once again, George... Never Between never you and George, Adel Sarday's confidence is completely blown up. Yeah, she's There's just nothing gonna... Left of it. She's just gonna rest her arms on the table and rest her head on her arms, like, just... <laughs> Hiding her face like, uh... <laughs> Hubert will just look down at you, and for once, will not have anything else to say. <laughs> because he can say something that's tease-worthy, but he will not, as he's certain it will hurt her feelings. Her feelings have been quite hurt Julie's already. Just kind of patting her on the back. <laughs> Julie's trying to comfort her and pat her on the back. There, there. Yeah, it never occurred to her that people might. And whenever once in a while, I'll do a glare at the two of them. Yeah, never. Hubert and George. Like, to Ada, it's always been like, yeah, people dislike me because of who I used to be, but it was never like, yeah, people dislike me because of who my family is, and that hit her like a brick. <laughs> I just never said he didn't like you because of your family. You said he isn't attracted to you because of it. <laughs> I'm not attracted to you because of your mom. <laughs> Your mom's a bitch! Yes, because that line opens <laughs> as well. <laughs> Your mom does not have oh, it going on! Okay. Let's see you. <laughs> so what do you expect? Where does a mama's boy if he thinks your mom is a piece of shitty ain't going? <laughs> so what? You know, he, that's a fair point. <laughs> if he finds out that Eddie's mom was a piece of shit, would he stop liking her? Eddie's mom isn't currently trying to Maybe. invade his home. <laughs> Eddie's mom's dead. Yeah, he she killed her mom. <laughs> Actually, I'll raise, I'll raise her head for a bit. But no, she'll lower it back down. She's not that petty. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you raise your head, Hubert will just look at you, gently place a hand on your head and push it back down. <laughs> <laughs> something she's going to regret. I, I suppose it's my turn to be the impulse control. Back down, you go. I need to find that one <laughs> Def Jam, like... I need to find that one Def Jam, like, insult string.
pain. <sighs> Meanwhile, what will, what will probably happen? So, what happened to your mom? I killed her. Well, why did you kill her? She was a piece of shit, George. <laughs> <laughs> Either that's a big red flag or that's a giant green flag. I don't know. <laughs> Yellow flag? Yeah. <laughs> like, let's just wait and see how this goes. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be like that one fellow that everyone tries to follow George on his day. <laughs> oh yes. Oh god. <laughs> Except if out of everyone in the party, there is at least one person that will be able to follow without being detected. And he is the last person that's interested. He will do it if he's told to. Beastie will be s actually it will be three. Beastie will be two, because I like thirty-two. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to do. Damn it! <laughs> thirty-two is my favorite number. Get wrecked. Twenty-three is what my favorite uh, basketball jersey number. Ninety-nine. Two for auto. Eight for Jordan. You can't be a two. It has to be a different number. <laughs> One for auto. Okay. So I guess I'm. Okay. Uh, let's go four and six. For who's what? Uh, four rooms four, LV six. All right. And mm. chaos, you have to be the leftovers. Yep. What? Five and seven. You have to be five and seven. Assign one to Scalodius and one to Jubilee. Uh, seven Jubilee, five Scalodius. Let's see who the I, lucky winner is. Sorry, I was... Oh. <laughs> Adel Sardé, as the... <laughs> as, a, as you are laying your head on the table, you see... Uh, you see a small slip of paper appear before you. She will look over at the paper. She'll unfold it and look it over. We said does the opposite of uh, the opposite of a firefly is a waterfall from blue. That is all it says. You thought you saw all I posted? <laughs> what? <laughs> the, op the opposite of a firefly is a waterfall, and it's a message from Glue, and that is all it says. <laughs> uh, Random bullshit, go. Ale's just going. Ale's just going to like look the paper over. Like, looks very confused, shows it to the others, and is like, what the hell is this? Uh, <clears throat> he's technically not wrong? <laughs> Jubilee does not know what to make of this either. <laughs> The opposite of a firefly is a waterfall. Is a waterfall. Yep. <sighs> She'll flip down her invisibility goggles and look at it. 
you see a picture of a fire, a little drawing of a firefly next <laughs> to the word firefly, and a waterfall next to the word waterfall. She will- Thank you, QR codes. She will fold up the piece of paper and put it in her pocket. <laughs> Just lower her head back down to the table. Now pulling the hood up of her cape over her head, because her brain has been rendered asunder by the psychological and emotional torment in the past few minutes. <laughs> Trying to make sure nobody sees her snickering at the message she just got. Oh no, she ain't snickering, she mind broken. <laughs> saying you don't like my daughter because of who I am. It's not... it's really not because of you. You said who she's related to. She's related to me, isn't she? I feel as if she's smart enough to know who I was referring to for that. And who might you be referring to? Her mother? Oh, you mean my wife, Alex? Yes. Because that's... Huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Fucking born lady. And I will not take offense towards Alex that way. I meant her, her birth mother. <laughs> I can't fly. I can't flack you either. I'm a mama's boy too. <laughs> So, it would be more argued that I'm a grandmother's boy, but, eh, my grandmother was basically my mom. Adel has her face in the table, she'll say. Adel? Yeah? She'll motion for him to come over. He'll head over. She'll reach into her pocket, pull out the arcane vessel, and place it in his hands. Better with you, stem with you, with them. Sorry, it's better use with you than with me. Uh, are, are you sure? Very. Oh shit! Is that an arcane vessel? <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. That's pretty cool. It is pretty neat. The pair of you seem to be devaluing the power of such an item. I'm aware of how powerful it is, that's why I'm giving it to him. And that is a very noble thing to do. I, I am very I am I'm proud of your selfless nature.
How am I devaluing anything? I said it's pretty cool. It's not just pretty cool, it is an amazing arcane artifact. And can't that be said about any arcane artifact? Hmm, some more than others. You know, because a ring of spell storing is also <laughs> pretty cool. Does basically the same thing. The same thing as this. Well, a lesser version, yes, but hmm. I just I feel like you you are underestimating how just how quote unquote cool that that item is. I mean, no, because I can make them. He says very calmly. Oh, can you? Yes. Hmm. That's some valuable information. Okay. Elfie, would you, would you like one? I wouldn't mind one. Uh, Though I do have a large amount of items that I am currently attuned to at the moment. I'll also say, I don't think you guys can afford me making you one. Hmm, that's the other issue. It is a very valuable item. about what type of store in here. You can store up to 5th level, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> yeah, it's something new. Discord quit and rejoined. Yay. Love it when it does that. You were quiet for a while. I thought it was just awkward silence again. What happened? I spaced out. That was my bad. They're trying to determine what to do with the arcane vessel. Ah. I'm trying to figure out what spell to put in it at the moment. Hmm. Actually, so, I think that how am I going to help? I'm not sure if you'd be able to cast a spell into it, but... Hmm. I'm guessing it only needs to be a spell that Otto knows that he needs to put into it, or going to be any spell. Unless you are willing to be targeted by a spell from your peers, it has to be a spell you know. Because you can, technically, absorb a spell from your peers if you're willing to risk failing the saving throw and you fail to absorb it. Yeah, sure. It's not, it wasn't going to be a damaging spell anyway, so... I don't think it has to be a damaging spell. Nope. Any spell that targets you, technically. Okay. Roz will say, um, in, in an hour, once I tune this thing, and then make sure you're helpful with something with the spell to put in this. You need me to put a spell into it? Um, Do yeah, you have I, anything in mind? Um, mass healing word. Ooh. I don't know that spell. I believe Adel Sarde is the only one who does. Oh. I... Not both of you know. I mean, I can give you greater restoration, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm only a light healer. 
Which one I guess think might be a bit more value, I guess. Ooh, value. And you can put any spell in there? Um, as long as it fits this level. Or below. This level or lower. Hmm. <laughs> Want a free get out of jail free card? That's supposed to mean I'm not in jail. Well, I could probably make theoretically, maybe I can put a dimension door in there so you can teleport away if you're in danger. Discord is being weird. Oh no. We knew it was you who left. Discord real. Nope, oh, he's gone again. What? No, oh, nope, that was chaos this time. Oh, oh. chaos. <laughs> I was gonna say, how. Damn it, Discord. <laughs> it fucked up so bad that I got disconnected wow, while I could hear All you. Right. Wait, did it happen again? Oh, fuck. Ah, I'm not sure. Hello? Oh no. I can hear you, <laughs> Chaos. Yes, hello? Hello? <laughs> can everyone hear me? Yes? Can you okay, hear I me? I can hear you guys. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I, I, I got booted for a moment, and I got, came back in. Okay, I think... having a seizure. Yeah, I think oh, this... Oh, wait, what? what? Hi, Jay. What is going on? Jay? <laughs> okay, that, that time I actually intentionally left, because I wasn't sure if you guys heard me. Okay. So, Discord's having a seizure. is Discord stable now? Are we all good? Hold on, let me really test it, test if it's stable yet. Don't. Goodness gracious, you're gonna kill us. There we go. It's working. Okay. So, uh, where were we? Oh yeah. Holding a dimension oh. door in the thingy. Five dimension door, maybe. Um, okay, uh, what are you... Oh god. Kind of buff debuff thing, so... Unless you want a fireball in there, which I don't know if you want that. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> it's weird about giving the, chi the child of the group explosives, and I know, not actually a child, but youngest of the group still. Fireball! Oh Fireball is the I'm answer to pretty sure I can also can also cast fireball if he wants. And fireball is the answer to most questions. No, fireball like, is. Then you'd get a free one. No, fireball is the question. The answer is yes. I mean, I don't know. Would you like a? Would you like to be able to polymorph on command? I believe he said he wants healing word or oh, mass healing. Which Lady Adel I don't Sade. I don't have that spell though. Lady Adel Sade does. As I said. I mean any support of spelling with a good restoration could also be good as well if you if you need on like that if you ever end up getting hurt by it anyway. Ale's just going to point over to him without looking and it's just going to fire a mass healing word. Wait, wait, no, oh, no, no, no. no. Has to attune. Not yet. Okay. She lowers her. <laughs> Jubilee grabs her hand. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> she lowers her casting hand. Her head is still face first in the table, by the way. Hey, Otto, can you come back when Adel's not feeling as down, please? He hasn't. He has to attune to it for an hour, so. I suppose he'll be back in an hour. <laughs> and you, mister, you need to go get some apology flowers right now. No, Lady Angel Sade doesn't like flowers. 
Then you get her something she does like, mister. She likes my presents, but mine's still here. That's very sweet. But <laughs> you, you can almost see the numbers going by Julie's head, like, but your presence is the problem, but it's also so the solution. <laughs> Just the lady doing math. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna walk over to another table and start attuning to the uh, European vessel. on in and sit next to Morgana. Mor Morgana, who at this point has gotten food, will be eating quietly and will just look at you, look you up and down and go, you strong? Yes. Are you magical? No. Are you a barbarian? Yes. She makes a noise to that part. Are you strong? I like to think so. Are you magic? No. Are you fighter? I am something. Hmm. Wanna fight? I don't think I can beat you. She frowns. So you give up already? There are things that I'm not good at fighting against, and unfortunately barbarians are one of them. Then fight and learn how to fight against them. It's not exactly that easy. I have fought many of them, but they're too resilient. Then fight more! Fighting more doesn't teach me how to beat them. Uh, aside from magic, but I don't possess magic. Huh? She looks at this confused. How not? You learn when you fight. Everyone learns when fight. The only thing I've learned fighting a fighting barbarians is that I can't beat them without someone helping. <clears throat> you figure out a way to do it by yourself. He scoffs a bit to this. She gives a thumbs up. Believe in yourself, organ! That's name, Organ. That's what everyone's that's, saying. That's not my name. What's his name? <clears throat> Morgana. Yes, Organ. Uh. <laughs> Eggs. <clears throat> she stands. Fight me, Organ. I don't want to. Why? I don't think I'll win. So? So I try not to get into altercations that I can't win. She huffs. Mm. Even just because you lose not mean you not learn something. Losing is winning. That is the exact opposite of winning. No, because when you lose, it means you're more likely to win next time. No, I disagree. Well, organ. That is what me. That is what me learn, and me be in more fights than you. He just looks at you, and then goes back to her meal. She looks at the meal. What is it? it just stew. She'll write down. She'll note this down on her list. 
It's weird that you sister to Princess. Why is that? You're so different. Mm, yes, she and I are vastly different. She nods. You look very different. Technically, we have different fathers. Ah. But you act the same. He gives you a very insulted look. Hmm? What? That's very insulting. How? He and I are nothing alike. Hmm. No. You have same noses. He just continues to stare at you. Plus, she point. She lists. Both of you know like fighting for no reason. Both of you hate I loot. Don't. Both of you hate losing. I don't. I don't mind fighting. I just don't get into fights. I will lose. She no. She no do that either. Not for no reason. Morgana stares at Beastie, almost as if she's having flashbacks of this not being true at all, and says, You, uh, you are a few coins loose of a full purse, aren't you? She pauses and then opens her purse. Mmm. Right, that answers my question, alright. What question? Never mind. <laughs> but me think you like the your sister. Eh. You're both nice. And you smell nice. And you have the same noses. And are weird he about just, fighting. He just stares at you as first off calling her nice seems to confuse her telling her she smells nice makes her think you're flirting and then you keep on going on and now she thinks you're an idiot <laughs> and she just can't get a read on you <clears throat> but if me here correct then you when we win fights you win empire congrats And beastie. Beastie 13. And she points to her, her collar. You not have an actual name, or is that what you decide to go by? Beastie 13 is my name. Are you a slave? Me was. She nods. Me was freed because me fight really good and impress Zardak. What's the Zardak? Zardak, father of my son. She pauses. <clears throat> and daughter. Well, child and daughter. Sorry. He just stares at you, seeming to get more and more confused as you're speaking. You have daughter? No. Nah. Someday you will be lucky. Unlikely. Why? Most people don't like me. Why? She looks very she looks genuinely shocked and confused by this. Because I'm not a very good person. So? He has never been known. <laughs> Still like that before and just stares at you. She just shrugs. Not everybody a good person. <clears throat> you are very confounding. She shakes her head. No, me and Beastie. 
She will pinch the bridge of her nose as you reply this way. <laughs> you will be fine. You will find someone that is nice, like you, but not have to be a good person. Or maybe they are a good person and not mind you not a good person. Hmm. No, you nice. Me have met not nice people before. You nice. If you not nice, she says while pointing to her food, you would not be sitting here eating food and talking to your sister. You would be trying to kill everyone. I'm not talking to my sister. You were. And you're not trying to kill us all, are you? Not unless I need to. Then you're nice. Knock something over. Oh. I'm still not nice, but if that's what helps you sleep at night, then you can continue to believe so. She nods. You're nice because you're not trying to destroy everything. When you destroy everything, that's not nice. Especially when you do it unfairly. <laughs> Define fairly. Hmm. Like from really, 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 really far away. He just looks at you to this part. Beastie looks back. Tactically. Especially if it's in a situation that you can't normally win in. Yeah, that's not nice. So, using tactics makes people not nice. Mm. No. It's Ooh. like... She thinks for a bit. So, there's this big evil guy called Puppeteer, yes? He blew up entire dimension. How are you gonna stop someone from doing that when they're so far away? People got to fight him, but people in other parts of dimension didn't even know his name. That not nice. You are very confusing. No, me and Beastie. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> so, She'll just go over and pat Morgan on the shoulder. Don't worry, me will say it as many times as you need. She just shakes her head and goes back to eating her stew. But yes, you're nice, and you will find someone, and you'll have a nice daughter, or a nice son, or a nice child. Me no things. I really don't think you do. Hmm. No. Me no many things. <clears throat> like. She pokes Morgana's ear. You elf. He just looks at you. As you say this, as this is very easy to tell, it <laughs> doesn't count as knowing something to her. Beastie grins back, believing that she has proven that she knows many things. He will then stand, walk out, point behind her and go, does this goblins suffer brain damage or something. Me still walk out. Plus brain damage. She asked you, she she asked you to fight her? She would look over and just kind of shrugs. Yes, she asked me to fight her and I told her that I didn't want to because I'm fairly certain I would lose. She does that all the time. Unfortunately. She kind of uses a fight to assess a person. Well, 
I'm also not in any condition after fighting him to be the point to get Obi. And Obi just does the little four finger up and down wave to her. <laughs> He very clearly does not like him. She probably doesn't like the fact that he used magic when she's supposed to be immune to that shit. Ella would, yeah, would, so would ask about that. That's kind of her way of... Ella would ask about that if she wasn't emotionally mind-broken right now. The, the goblin, as you put it, beastie. <coughs> she, she, that's her way of assessing people, not just physically, but whether or not she can trust them. Beastie will pull out the Nuck Nuck's healing stick. If you know a heal to fight, then we can heal you with this. I'm not letting you hit me with the stick. Hmm. It actually works. Don't knock it till you try it. She's about to, but she's holding holding on because she's... It seems she's taken Bistella's uh, thing about permission to heart and is not going to just smack her. But she does have a poise like she's just waiting for the go-ahead. She is not paying attention to you, continuing to look at the uh, rest of the group. Hmm. <laughs> huh. She still looks over, it's just gonna be like, these, they don't hit her with the stick. She huffs and puts the stick away. He just looks at you like, you really want to hit me with that stick, don't you? To heal you so we fight, yes. Want you won't heal everything from that. Just trust me. Okay. She'll smack her with a stick. You deal one damage and heal her for nothing. She stares in horror. <laughs> what? Impossible! <laughs> this cannot be! It cannot be! She stares at the stick. What? What black magic is this? I'm immune to magic. Or at least most magic. Mm. Well, right. Does, would healing even work on you? No. Uh, Beastie. Hmm? Um... You know the usual magical stuff that we use? She actually can't use it, so she can't actually be healed by your stick. She, she puts, has to heal the, a different way. She puts the stick away, but like just gives Morgana a very pitying pat on the back. I'm sure if you if you let her rest to full full capacity, she'll at least let you try. It's kind of like looking at Morgana as Jubilee says this. You know, like, mm. She just rolls her eyes but doesn't deny. Okay. Peace deal, then pick Morgana up. You no, go you to. Won't. Oh. <laughs> Alright, Beastie will attempt to pick her up. Beastie, no, but... Unfortunately, the fight goblin is excited. <laughs> It'll... the Beastie's about to kidnap your sister, I think. And as you... Uh, as you say this, you watch as Beastie grabs on to uh, Morgana, and out of instinct, Morgana will grip Beastie's wrist, rip it off, grab her by the throat, raise her up in the air, and then choke slam her through the wooden floor. 
You know what? Never oh my mind. god. Oh. Damn. Good god almighty. You know who else got choke slammed through the floor? Mankind in 1996 when Undertaker <laughs> sent him through the roof. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, mean, I knew that was coming. With a twist? Well, Beastie will will be sitting under under the ground with her legs sticking out of the air. And she then kicks excitedly while saying, Okay, Beastie. Beastie will kick excitedly and will say, See, you very strong. We will have good fight tomorrow. No. I mean, it does very calmly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You Beastie's still learning. <coughs> Beastie will point out Organa with her toes. You'll have to do that to me again tomorrow, and me will carry, will touch you as much as me want. Phrasing. She raises an eyebrow to this. You know can stop me from doing the touchings. Me will touch you hard. Also phrasing. Me will touch you oh. deep. <laughs> and me will touch you until you can no longer be touched no more. <laughs> Nope, you guys got that. I'm gonna go reset the trailer. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> It'll stats. You know, I think I'm going to follow his advice. I'm also going to go get some sleep. See you tomorrow, Dad. Have a good night. Yeah, hopefully I get back my will to live tomorrow. Jubilee really just looks between the goose baby struck elf, the. Uh, PS PTSD Dragonborn, the drunk the drunk dwarf and the goblin stuck in the hole and just says you I'm, know not what? I'm not I'm not, I'm not drunk yet. You know what? They they got the right idea. <laughs> this is not my problem. <laughs> Adel, wait for me. I was just gonna, just like, as uh, all, all that's happening while he was a tuner, just be like, oh. Everyone is gone. Everyone's <laughs> gone. Huh. All the same people have left. <laughs> He's then gonna go back to attuning it and we'll just let Hoppy know. Uh, Hoppy, also tomorrow we're gonna try training you on your, on the sword again. <clears throat> No, don't. We're gonna train you with the sword. Don't. No, no sword. Sword. No sword. Why? <laughs> You'll be able to use it tomorrow. But sword. <laughs> He'll then roll his eyes and he'll just say, "Um, we'll go over to this area and we'll think." To himself for a second. If you want to pull out your sword, you can, but don't swing it. Time. Seeming confused. Top bottle will then rub his head as he's trying to tune, but also having to deal with Hoppy at the same time. <laughs> Think to himself for a second, and... Uh, Hoppy, you can pull out your sword, but uh, just don't swing it. Hoppy, how can I pull out my sword if it's in my arm? Hoppy kind of just stares and he's like, what? What, where are you, where are you staring at me like that? Oh, but... <laughs> That, my my boy, Otto, is the air and confusion that constructs like to get whenever they don't have enough brain width to understand the command. I really need to make him that, that headband. Because I'm assuming his sword is stored in his arm, right? Uh, yeah, it is. He can't figure out how to pull it out because he's not technically pulling it out if he ejects it. We're gonna look to Hoppy and we'll just... I'm 
would scare one of them if I told to eject the sword. That's probably uh, a good thing to be scared of. Then like a Hoppy say, Hoppy, can you bring out the sword? Hoppy will raise his hand and bring out said sword. Okay, well that makes it a little bit easier, but I know what to say at least. Okay, you can put it away. He will then put it away. What else do you think I can do to help them understand things easier? I, I have a way to, that I can potentially make them smarter, but I don't know how well that'll help. Is it the headband of intellect? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that'll probably do. <clears throat> Just be warned, if it ever comes off of him, he goes back to being dumb as a brick. <laughs> I'm guessing there's no way to help him naturally? <clears throat> With enough tinkering, you probably could, but it would be a very slow and arduous process. I have too many other things I'm worrying about. I'm trying to recreate a gun. You. Hobie says to this. Why you? Yeah, that technology. I mean, yeah, but, I'm, but I think I might try to find a way to mix it up as well. Oh, you're an artificer, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're just like my son. Who's you couldn't son? Nathan, you couldn't decide if you wanted to do magic or X, so he did both. Wait. Like the, like the weird little genius that he is. Wait, wait, your son is named who? Nathan. You mean the one studying Aether currently? Yeah, that would be he. How many sons and daughters do you have? Yes. <laughs> Obi will sit there and think, and he will look at his fingers, and then count, count, and uh, another finger comes up. He ponders for a second, a third will come up. Uh, are we counting living children right now? Yes, correct. Through his fingers. A fourth finger comes up, scratches his head for a minute. I think I had a child with a dragon once. I think they're still alive. Oh, Grigori, that's another one of my children. <laughs> <laughs> but he's adopted. He's still my boy, though. It, uh, Obi will then proceed to continue to sit there and count very uh, quietly, as if it's taking a lot of his brain power to actually think of this. She's doing that. Otto's gonna think to himself for a second as he mentions Nathan, remembers time of Solaria. Then just remember, oh, I have a second thing I can install into you, Hoppy. He's then going to He's then going to pull out his uh, wire thing that he got from, from his other friend back in Solaria and is going to say, I'm gonna try to see if I can install this in you. Like a, he, a grappling hook. He will watch <coughs> you and wait. Um, hmm. Going to do his best to try to install it onto Hoppy. You can mm -hmm. install it into his free arm. Okay, he'll do that then. Alright. Hoppy will now look at his arm. <laughs> Pretty much if you ever need to get higher? Can you use that to help get higher or pull people to you? So that way you can use sword. Hoppy will blink before holding up the le his left hand towards the wall and fires it on accident and everyone watches it because <laughs> Oh my. <clears throat> you made Hoppy into Rodol. <laughs> You made Hoppy into the opposite of Roadhog. <laughs> Instead of bringing people to him, he accidentally takes him to them. Yeah, it's whatever way so we can get to somebody to protect them, I guess. <laughs> yeah, but any, but Obi after a while goes, Heaven? Heaven right now? 
I think. Did you ever have a Minotaur child with Waverly? Oh no, that's Maxwell. Oh. Also, Poppy, you can come back now. I am stuck. <laughs> Please help. You will go over and try to help you get unstuck again. Roll athletics. Oh god. Beastie will chuckle. Haha! -ha. Me did it first. Oh Jeez. my god. God damn! Yeah, please not when I get stuck again. <laughs> you do manage to get Hoppy free. Because <laughs> of your past experience, you did not want to deal with it. <laughs> so, yeah, use that whenever you feel like you need to get closer to someone, or if you want to bring someone to you. That might be an enemy, don't just use it on... Well, I got... Mm. To his knowledge, him using that doesn't actually hurt anyone. They just bring him to him, right? You just have to hit them and he can bring them to him. Theoretically. I guess if you ever need to get someone out of danger immediately, then you can use it on them, but... You know what? I'm gonna wait till I get to the headband to actually explain things to you. Hoppy will give you a thumbs up. <laughs> So anyway, why do you ask about my children? Obi says to Obi. Nathan and I are both very astute believers in science and technology, <clears throat> and I was really fascinated by his research, and it was just fascinating to me to know that he is also one of your many, many, <clears throat> many, <clears throat> many progeny. <clears throat> He's a good kid. He is. Very good kid. I just... It, it fascinated me that you... You've been able to father people such as... Um, Nathan and Idol Sarde and several others that we may or may not also know. Oh, you haven't met some of them yet. I'm sure we haven't. But... Hmm. You do raise very, very good kids. And... Despite your eccentricity, I, I I believe, yeah, whatever you did, you have raised some very fine children. Yeah, it's honestly surprising that uh, Nathan came out of me. I don't understand how he can be so... I don't want to say bland, because I don't want to insult him. Mm. Well... Oh. Over analytical, we'll say. Mm, we scientific types have a tendency to do that. No way. That would be another good word. Yes, we are quite stoic. We typically, when it comes to analytical types like us, we have a tendency to sacrifice intelligence for charisma. I think you mean that the other way around. You sacrifice charisma for intelligence. Vice versa, yes. <laughs> And then, there, and then there's people like me, who sacrifices neither. Mm. Why sacrifice mm. when you don't need to? Mm. I've also done very odd experiments, would be the best word to put it, but, uh, yeah. You, odd experimentation, perish the thought. Yeah, I turned myself into a vampire once, and then I cured myself, sort of. Turned himself hmm. into a vampire, the funniest shit I ever seen. <laughs> Bish, I help you cure yourself, motherfucker. Rather curious. I imagine there would be a cure for vampirism as well as other things like lic lycanthropy, but. Hmm. <laughs> At the mention of lycanthropy, for rooms, you know, a head just sort of tilts. Huh? What? But... <laughs> I, I made myself a vampire, and it was a very powerful one, and then I cured myself, kinda. I can still do the vampire bullshit. He says, making a fin wavy finger motion. And I technically have fangs, but I can hide them. What kind of the vampire, 
40 fingers bullshit can you do? Oh, I can summon birds and wolves and creatures of the night. Uh, I, can, I can summon swarms of spiders. Ah, uh, hmm. that kind of vampire bullshit. I can technically shapeshift. Are you able to assume a gaseous form? Yeah, but I can just do that as a wizard. So, hmm. not as impressive. I just, I just thought it would be much easier to do that naturally instead of having to use a spell slot for it. But yeah, I can do that. I'm also tech. I also technically infused myself with Eldritch blood, which gave me a whole heaping what sort of other problems. Hmm. Did it interact with your vampiric nature at all? Uh, I don't know. I never hmm. got a chance to experiment with that. Hmm. Some, something, something limited me whenever I came up with an idea and I could never figure out what it was. Ah. Unfortunate. Translation, the idea I came up with for that was so powerful that the DM said no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense. Sometimes, because... powers, sometimes the powers that be just say no and decide, you, you, you know, there is some limitation you must abide by. Hmm. A shame, really. So yeah, I can do all sorts of neat things because I decided that, well, it probably can't kill me permanently. Mm. Is that how you obtained your prodigious magical power? Just by going, let's see how this goes, and then trying things? Half that, half my bloodline. Ah. Uh, Sorcery is a very interesting thing. It's not sorcery. It's mm. wizardry. But isn't that more of a studious thing and less of a my bloodline is my power? So, that's the weird thing about it. Uh, I come from a bloodline called the Deerish bloodline. Although, technically, yes, our bloodline is innately powerful in magic, some of us have to learn what we're doing, and we're not just born with it. Now, once we uh, learn how to harness it, we can do some very cool things with it, like I had to do. Ah, uh, that... okay. But, for example, uh, we'll take myself and uh, Adel Sarde. She is a sorcerer. Her magic came to her innately. I couldn't do anything until my grandfather taught me how to do magic. Coincident yeah, Coincidentally, the first time I tried to make a fire bolt, <laughs> I made a fire ball. Yes, the pronunciation is uh, similar and may cause disastrous results if uh, you misspoke it. Well, it was half. It wasn't so much I misspoke Ooh. as the eagerness made my blood surge and the magic got more powerful. Uh, LV kind of tenses at this. Her brow furrows a little, and she just goes, "Hmm, that's a shame." And then I made Maxwell. <laughs> Ah. Curious. I, w I, willingly or unwillingly? Oh no, I did it fully intentionally. I wanted ah. a I wanted a friend, and I stole my grandfather's demon ingredients. Uh, Elvie was about to go, oh that's nice, and then her stole demon ingredients and just just climbs up. I stole them and I made Maxwell. And he has been my friend ever since. And then he became alive. He was original. He was originally undead, though. Uh, and then became alive, and then things happened, and uh, yes. Huh. I'll think to himself for a second after hearing the name Maxwell, and I'll think, um, Mister, open this. Yes. <clears throat> Do you know how to use the scrying spell? <laughs> He just stares at you. He just stares at you for a really long time and goes, Yeah. As if he was trying to determine whether or not he needs to be sarcastic to you. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure because I wanted to I was very curious about something because I, I I've been trying to figure out where exactly what our friends are, and I was wondering if you'd be able to get a beat on it, because anytime we try they kinda just 
Are you able to get it for like a split second and then it just goes away? I mean, it depends on if I know them or not. So um, it? Mark. Mark? Mark, he used to be a Warforged. Uh, I think I know Mark, yeah. Uh, I'll try to remember. Apparently he shot himself with a Chaos Gun. Um, a lot of weird shit happens whenever he used it, things like that. Yes, I, I remember the gun dagger. <clears throat> oh, okay. So then, step over and hand him... Uh, was it that? Was it a gun? Was it a revolver that Hubert gave to him? Also, did that also, also belong to Mark or no? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So hand him the... Hand him one of the one of the uh, the revolver and say, "Do you think you can see if you can get a beat on where he is?" Obi will reach out, taking the gun with two fingers, and just lifts it up and squints at it. It seems that even with how things are, he still doesn't particularly like technology that much. Before saying, "I'll see what I can do." After a minute or two, uh, after a minute or two, he just blinks and goes, What the fuck happened to him? Beastie um, won't poke her head through the floor. He died. Well, he's back? Question mark? You question mark? Obi will just look over at Beastie. Beastie looks back, just a head on the floor, having popped, rather than being- since she was unable to pull herself out of the floor, she just went under the floor, and is now poked her head through the floor. Anyway. So, that might mean he has a new body, apparently? Uh, he has a new something or another. Is he angry? Debatable? Hmm. Where is he? Uh, that one we couldn't really get a beat on. Hmm. Was he in a big room? Was he flying? What did I just say? You know it can put a beat on him. So, if I couldn't get a beat on him, what makes you think I know where he is? Me don't know what that mean. Me can put a beat. Means he doesn't know where he's at. It's like a, it's a matter of bigger speech. Oh, why you not just say so, pale man? Anyway. Hmm. She looks startled. You think he know Mark's dad? Uh, Obi will just then look to you, Otto, and say, So... <laughs> I don't think Mark exists like you, uh, like you remember he did. Oh, I don't know. Oh. I know eight of them are trying to figure out what happened to him or where he is, so... Me know him. He was nice. Well, he doesn't exist like he, you remember him. Oh, then how he exists now? Very, very... badly. Badly? And she looks concerned. He in pain? He doesn't feel pain, but... <laughs> He's not the mark you remember, let's just leave it at that. She frowns. Mm. So he probably nods our friend anymore. Uh, he says shrugging to this. Mm. Do you know who made Mark? Mark Dad? Big Dragon. Mm. Not very nice. Name start with T. And with T. What is it again? You, uh, you're not being very helpful there, Gobbo. Dwarf! Uh, Tempest, I oh, believe. Oh, sorry. Yes, Skilogus that. says speaking up for out of nowhere. Yes, Priest. That. I know of him. Find him. We tried finding uh, him too and did no work. 
I know Waverly didn't particularly like him, he says with a polite <laughs> smug smile. So do you like him? Uh, he does a so-so motion. Well, we try to see where he is. Apparently he crying because his son died. And now his son back, so maybe he better. I mean, if you guys can't find him with divination magic, he probably cast my blank on him, so I can't find him with divination magic either. She tilts her head. You? Hmm. Mm. Try. No. Why? You have already tried. Yes, but we not you. I mean, a uh, Adel Sarde is part of me, so you're not technically right. Mm hmm. Yes, but Princess is very weak compared to you. No, she isn't. She has her own strengths. Yes, but not in looking for things. Like you. You don't know that. She's probably better at looking for things than me. Hmm. Then how come you able to do the thing with the scries and the mark and she couldn't? I mean, she was able to. Not as well. I mean, did she get did she get his location? You don't know. Did she re realize what state he was in? No. Yes. How you know? I know lots of things. So she and I basically got the same information. Oh, okay. So where Tempest? Well, you should ask Adel Sarde that one. But you know lots of things. I also don't know a lot of things. She looks very confuzzled. Ovidus, the only person to be able to get out of Beasties constantly questioning of why. <laughs> yep. The, unfortunately for her, he had to deal with a very inquisitive stunt, though he knows how to handle that situation. <laughs> I still think you should try. You might see something. And I might not. So try. Nah. She huffs. Hmm. Me bet you would try if Princess asks you. How much do you want to bet? Uh, me don't know. You're going to start a bet and then, then not even have anything to bet? Yes. Me no bet before. And yet you say you want to bet? Yes. Well, tell you what, whenever you find figure out how to bet, then we can bet. Okay. Time of day is it right now? Probably about like three in the afternoon. And, and half the party just, went to everyone bed. Everyone decided they wanted to deal with nothing and just left. <laughs> <laughs> the party doesn't have to do anything for a time being. Everyone just goes to sleep. One of the player, I'm sl player sleepy. You help me out of floor? He'd re he'll he'd reach down, palm your head, and just pull 
you out of the floor. She stretches and lands on her feet. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Quiet in here ever since everyone else left. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about this place. So, can I go walk up to the barkeep and then just ask, um, do you know any, um, how do I phrase this? Uh, places of entertainment? No. Okay. Alright, I need you to. I need you to repeat that, please. <laughs> I was gonna walk into the barkeep and be like, "Do you know of any nice places of entertainment in the kingdom?" Uh, it depends on the type of entertainment you're wanting. Um, I guess just something to pass the time. Would it be like watching people fight or people working on stuff? Uh, and armor, things like that. He just. He looks confused as nothing you just mentioned. <laughs> it um, seems like something to pass the time, and before eventually, uh, I guess you could go watch a blacksmith. Maybe. Um. Okay. So like a place for fighting, like a coliseum or anything. Uh, we do have a fight ring, however, there aren't any fights presently staged. Oh. Are there any that are coming up soon? Not for a few months. It's seen as a little bit barbaric to have it always <coughs> be up and ready to run. Oh. Okay. Oh, thank, thank you. Then I'm just back to sitting down. Yeah, when the Coliseum was mentioned, Beastie just scrambled onto the bar, but when she listened to the conversation, she just sadly slunk away. Yeah. It's a It is really unfortunate that it's so rare. Last time it came on, we got to see Zardak fight some people. Beastie will kick a chair and growl while complaining in Goblin. It's not fair! Why is it always when I'm not around that the cool fights happen? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go back to sleep. The man ran up a pillar and just fucked George in the, in the nose. And George was flying at the time, it was rather impressive. George in his room is just going to rub his nose randomly for no reason. <laughs> Why are my ears burning? <laughs> she huffs, then goes over to Scalodius and picks him up. Braced! Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. And outside she carries him. Otto's going to follow suit just to make sure they don't get in trouble. And bring Hoppy along. Where are you taking? Looks like we're having a side adventure here all of a sudden. I want you to tell me what you're doing, Beastie. Well, Beastie is going to solve two problems with one stone. Basically, she knows that Scalodius is in a bad mood, and she herself is also in a bad mood, so she's going to carry him around until she finds something interesting. Okay. Uh, I need someone in the tree. So Yes, Galodius is. I was gonna say, what's the order I'm gonna do? Oh, I was gonna... About what? I was actually gonna ask Galodius if you want to come along. Galodius is getting carried away by a goblin and a, and a rabbit is following them. Two yeah, rabbits, in fact. I think a side, of, a side adventure is about to happen. Um, uh, Morgan, would you like to come just in case I can't contain them? Uh, what do you need help? Like, what's going on? In you. case they start doing... In case things start to go bad with them? Yeah, um, yes. and why do you think I'm gonna help? 
Um, I might just make it worse. Singularity. <laughs> well, Side quest begin. Well, because if, if, if there's a fee or anything like that, and we don't have money, we might just get taken to jail or. Oh God, I'm the wallet it. again. No, I don't mean it like that. I mean angry also dwarf cases. noises. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't mean it like that. It's also um, if they start to, if I, if they need to fight, you are probably more well suited to fight them than I am. If it comes. Yeah, to that. yeah, that's fair. Still hate being uses the huge, the dwarven wallet guy. Uh, grumble, grumble, grumble. Then why do you volunteer to hold all our money? Scully says from the Be goblin's back. Because I can't trust any of you with it. So then, why are you surprised when questions like that happen? Because it's my job as a dad. Grumble, 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 grumble. Did you realize LV Fatal, I don't even do anything. Jubilee, maybe, and, and Thor could also be very responsible with the money, too, right? Yeah, but... Mm, 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 mm. will just pat Otto on the bat on the shoulder. Bag, you know, understand. When people are old, complaining is fun. No, it's not, Beastie. I mean, I imagine it's all uh, BC's over doing an over the shoulder situation with Skillos. So whenever she turns to Otto, it's actually Skillos' backside pointed at him. Yep. <laughs> at Otto. Just he's big just old talking. dragon. At this point, he's giving up. Dragonborn tail. <laughs> Otto at this point yeah, is going much. to walk alongside them and find where he's going, but also going to have a pen and paper out and just is go <laughs> just go. Like, you guys are documenting the right Singularity yeah, Adventures. He's gonna, he's gonna write down at the top, monitoring the idiot Singularity. <laughs> Alright, so you want one of us to roll a D100, right, Jor? Yep. Uh, I guess it. Beastie will do it. Random event, go! Oh, damn. Clean Perfectly 50. Aligned. As all things should be. Alright. So. As you all wander around, uh, the streets are fairly calm, all things considered, but you do find your way into an area that is serving fresh food. Good thing we already ate. This is I mean, gonna... food is food. Oh, that, mm. yeah, that's fresh food. Food is food, that is true. What kind of food is it? Make a compelling argument. Uh, the edible kind. You'll have to roll an investigation to check. Alright. Otto will... <laughs> Is this basically gonna do it? I mean, you can as well. <clears throat> Ooh, 17. Not bad. advertises the bacon witch. The what? The bacon witch. Beastie's I eyes. Oh, yeah, oh, Beastie's oh, eyes oh, will oh, gleam oh, as she looks to the bacon witch. I need it. And the, I, well, the need bacon what? I can't see. As you guys get up to the sign, the bacon witch is advertised. Have you ever wanted uh, bacon on your sandwich? Now imagine your sandwich is nothing but bacon, including the bread. Yeah, Beastie's going to read this out loud, and then she starts to salivate. Priest, we have found heaven. Goblin? Well, it sounds lovely. I wish I could see it. Uh, Thorgrim is going to ta gonna take uh, Scalodius and shove his face into the sign. Oh. Look at it! It's beautiful. 
Oh, oh, oh. Otto's gonna make a joke on first, his first one on there. Idiots love bacon, consider it heaven. <laughs> I put that on a shirt. Idiots love bacon. <laughs> and bacon loves idiots. Wait, no, that's, that doesn't work. Each bacon yeah, depends on who you marry. Each bacon witch will cost you two gold for each bacon witch. What? A ticket to heaven is so cheap. That's highway robbery. <laughs> She'll pick the Scalotis back up and immediately start heading towards oh. where it is being okay, sold. Okay, I guess I'm going this way now. I mean, you're already at the, at the stall for it, so you don't have to go anywhere. Oh, she'll look to- you're going the wrong way. She'll turn. That way, point, point. <laughs> She'll turn and head the correct way back to the <laughs> stall. But then we'll pick Thorgrim up and just like thrust him up at the stall owner. Be like, Dwarf! And I, and I very calmly take and the I bag pay out with and go. More. <laughs> and, I, and I very calmly take the bag out. Like as I'm being lifted up to the to the shopkeeper, I'll be like, um, four bacon witches, please. All right. Uh, that'll be eight gold. Here you go. And whenever he serves oh, you, whenever he serves you, wagon like you all under the computer. Whenever he serves you all your bacon witches, you find the reason it is so costly is because it's like a pound of bacon stacked on a plate. <laughs> oh, wow. ah, smells so divine from back here. He's the old point. Ready? <laughs> Easy, man. Please sit down properly now. She'll put Scalodius down so she can hold her plate in two hands. Oh. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Ravenous eating noises. Otto has to witness this horror. <laughs> All three of us is diving in face first at the same time. Oh, also, yes. Otto, you have been given your own pound of bacon, which you have, yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a bite out of it and that'll make another note. They eat like the animals that were used to cook this bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, actually, no. Uh, pigs chew their food. I'd say he eats more like a duck. I, I was saying this guy was like gonna, a crocodile, but I was just gonna erase what he what he put down to say they eat like animals. <laughs> oh shit! No, I'm sorry. I forgot to mention. I actually have to go like right now because I gotta get up and. <clears throat> Five hours. It sounds like Go to bed. It sounds like this is where the session is ending, boys. Sorry, oh, I forgot session. to mention that before. Yeah. Yeah, half right. party has been so totally scarred or sad, and the other half is over here eating bacon. Hey, thanks for watching this video until the end. If you want to see more of my stuff, click on either the vids on screen or check out my YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and check the description for more places to follow me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you.